Hey, I, uh, Beekner. Uh, what's up, Manny? Can I tell you something, ma'am? Oh, uh, what? So the other day, my wife asked me to stop impersonating a flamingo, so I just had to put my foot down. Man, I tell you what, I used to be able to, back in the day, walk into a store, 25 bucks, could get a couple bags of candy, a ribeye steak, some wine. Can't do that anymore. Too many cameras. <laughs> Man, my wife asked me the other day if I'd seen the dog bowl, and I was like, I didn't, didn't even know he could. What's up, Centennial? Welcome back to a new episode of The Loft. You're here. <laughs> Mr. Bigner, you know better than this. No, we didn't. What's up, Centennial? Welcome back to a new episode of The Loft. You're here with your favorite host, Natalia Paiva. And Elena Paiva, and we have a great episode for you guys today. Hey, Centennial. These are your homecoming spirit week themes. Monday's Celebrity Day, so dress appropriately as your favorite celebrity. Tuesday's Alphabet Soup, so dress in the first letter of your name. I'm Jolly Josie. I'm Eminem Eva. Wednesday is throwback day and there are a lot of different options. You can dress up as any decade, like the 80s. You can be an old band, like Pink Floyd. Or you can represent your old elementary or middle school. Or you can put on your favorite throwback fit. Thursday is Heroes vs. Villains Day. You can either dress up as a hero or a villain. Or you can dress up as whatever a hero means to you. Where? Your class colors. Hey Centennial, if none of these options are available to you, just use something ordinary. I'm Noor. These are Nike. Nike Noor. You can stay as creative as possible. Just make sure that everything is in dress code and no one's wearing any masks. The next segment, it's about a Venezuelan baseball team. Let's see it. Bueno, decidí empezar este equipo para repotenciar, eh, mantener la, las habilidades de los muchachos en el béisbol y bueno, tratar de que ellos estuvieran a buen nivel competitivo para formar parte del de equipo del high school y a su vez pues, poder formar parte de los equipos del college eh, que dan tantas oportunidades de beca para los muchachos de estudio en este país. Bueno, lo que más me gusta es ser coach de los Warriors, que realmente eh, aporto eh, conocimiento eh, ya adquirido anteriormente eh, por haber jugado también béisbol y eso se lo estoy inculcando a cada uno de los chicos para que ellos tengan más eh, balance y más confianza en el juego. Ok, okay nosotros tenemos conformados tres equipos eh, que representan a la escuela. Un equipo es de, de 11, U11, donde tenemos niños de 11 años y 10 años eh, representando a la escuela y juega en nivel travel doble A. Tenemos un equipo de 14 años, eh, donde juegan niños de, de esa edad, de, de 14 y 13 años, y eh, están a nivel de travel A. Y el equipo de 15 años, que es el que están viendo aquí al fondo, y este es el equipo que juega Perfect Game, eh, que va a empezar a jugar Perfect Game este año. Jugó categoría clase triple A eh, hasta el, la temporada de, de sprint de, de este 2023 y ya... Ahorita en el, en el Fall pues, han empezado en, en un nivel más alto 
que es el perfect game. Favorite part? Um, I guess I get to learn a little bit of Spanish too. It might help me out with my Spanish class. Also, I get to meet new people, um, make new friends, um, you know, learn something from other people, learn something from coaches. Yeah. Mi parte favorita de estar en el equipo es nada, las amistades, los profesores, cómo me tratan los coaches, todo, todo está bien. Uh, what I like most about being on the team is being with my friends, having fun, and winning a lot of tournaments with them. Eh, me emociona este, divertirme con mis amigos, eh, jugar con mis amigos, eh, ganar torneos. Bueno, con los muchachos, mi parte favorita, yo la, la paso muy bien con ellos. Realmente disfruto mucho enseñándoles. Eh, les enseño mucho disciplina y a ser buenas, buenas personas, buenos ciudadanos. A representar dignamente el deporte que hacemos. A respetarlo, a usar los implementos de, de este deporte. Y de enseñarle a ellos que son imagen del deporte. Que son buenas personas dentro del estadio, dentro del campo, como fuera de ella. Eso es lo más importante que me ha dejado el deporte a mí en lo particular. Y pues, a su vez trato de enseñárselos a ellos en su manera de jugar y en la manera de comportarse, sobre todo en la vida. It should be woman on the street because girl power. Yeah, should I start calling it woman? Yes, because you're a woman, not a man. Yeah. Woo boo man. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. This is your man on the street, Jordan G. Batman versus Spider Man. Who's winning? Batman. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Guru. <laughs> Batman is just a rich person with dead parents. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Spider yeah. Why Spider-Man? Because because he's cooler. How old was the queen when she died? 96. Who? <laughs> the queen. Queen Elizabeth? Oh, 
96. Like 5,000. Not even gonna lie. She was like angel. 96. 96. 96. 97. 96. 96. No, you can't. Okay, we can't touch the mic. But that Why? Fun. Getting bored of interviewing. Can you interview me? Yeah. Um, what made you decide to be on the lock? Um, is you Michigan a top of yours? No. Favorite food? Shrimp. Ew. Georgia, go dogs. And what makes you angry? <laughs> go. No, you go first. I don't know. No. Bees. Bees? <laughs> Bees. Why do they chase you a lot? Yeah. How many stars are on the US flag? 50. 52. 45. It's just, no, it's just 82. 51. It's like a hundred. Fifty? Forty-six? I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know. Fifty. Yeah. Okay, and then what's your phone password? Um, two eight two five. Four five nine zero. Should I? Let's see if it's if it's real. <laughs> yeah. Three four seven three three one nine. Eight zero zero eight. And this has been your man on the street with Jordan G. Hi everybody, my name is Miss Lee. Um, I am the math teacher at a Centennial High School and my room number is I-65. I teach Accelerated Algebra 1 this year. What restaurant do you, do you like the most? Um, my favorite restaurant used to be the Crust in Alpharetta. It's a pizza and pasta place. They have the amazing garlic rolls. But right now I'm into more like Mediterranean food, so I try the um, Jerusalem Bakery recently and that was really yummy. Are you a cat person or a dog person? Actually, to answer that question, um, my mom's sister, my aunt, had uh, 20 dogs in her house growing up. So my mom was like, no pet, period. So I never had a chance to have a pet in my life other than a fish or a turtle. I mean, but personally, I think I like the dogs better. Why? Because they're cute. Um, what's your favorite movie? Um, I'm a actually Marvel nerd, so I love Marvel movies. Um, my favorite one will be all the Iron Man series. I like action movies because, you know, I just sometimes, by watching it, you just feel like, mm -mm -mm, all the stress. What do you think about Minions? That's a really um, personal question, but um, I think they're very cute and they're um, really fun to watch. There was a recently new movie during the summer. I hope everybody watched it. Um, minions are really fun, and if you actually hear them talking, it's like all of all languages mixed up. So it's really fun. Why did you get into it? Well, I had a really awesome teacher back in um, fifth and sixth grade of my um, elementary school, middle school life, and he was the best teacher ever. He had a strong relationship with his student. He was such a loving, caring teacher who makes the learning really fun and enjoyable. Because of him, even though I, I actually started nursing in college, but because of him, I, this is what I wanted to be, this is what my passion was, so that got me into the teaching. And he, he actually came to my wedding, so that's really cool that I still keep relationship with him. The word of the week is persnickety, putting too much emphasis on minor details. Hey. hey, did you go to the game last night? Oh no, I was working. Did you go? No, I was busy mourning the queen. Oh really? Yeah. I heard she died in a green dress. Really? What shade do you know? Um, I think mint. Oh, I'm, um, yeah, I love that color. God, you guys are so persnickety. Nancy, what's your favorite fruit? Apples. But, cosmic crisp apples. You're watching The Loft. Hello, welcome back. 
Here with the heavy heart, our previous cameraman Anonymous has passed away. He's not dead. What? He didn't die, you know. He's just working with a different group. I hope all of you feel sad about someone you didn't meet. Speaking of people you didn't meet, the Queen died. She survived a world war, a couple of economic downturns, 14 US presidents, a few gas crises, the collapse of nations, the Berlin Wall falling, and she drew the line at the cell phone policy. Now, to be honest, she could have easily surpassed 200, but I'm scared too now, so. Meanwhile, in Fulton County, many bear sightings have been reported across our county. Now, we're not quite sure why these bears are appearing, but we have a plausible theory as to why. One, they may be trying to forge for honey, so please keep your bee farm far from your home. Two, they may look for garbage, so remove many of yourselves from your home. Or three, they're humanoid zombies looking for human flesh. Callers have been calling across the country asking about what the heck he just said. Here's a caller now. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Charlie, they're still asking about the queen. Oh, sorry, she just left. Uh, n no, she's, she's gone, sorry. She, she's not coming back. This week in Florida, a man died via crocodile on a golf course. Steve Irwin would be proud. I'm sure we're all getting tired of these political ads. Here's one now. Georgia voters are getting a lot of... Do we have... Oh. You hear that, Charlie? No, what? It kind of sounds like an outro. Well, that's crazy. Thank you guys for watching Weekly Update. Thanks, guys. Go home. Doesn't the phone jingle when you slam it? You just slam it. Hi, Hi Miss Allenson. Are you ready for your questions with the locked? Sure. First off, what's your favorite hobby and why? My favorite hobby um, is dancing. I grew up dancing since I was three years old, and so I always love to do it as an extracurricular activity, mostly ballet, jazz, um, and contemporary. Okay, let's head into the school. What is something that recently moved you? Um, that recently moved me. Just interactions with different students. So I'm new here, and I um, was teaching middle school last year, so being here in the high school and getting, at, and getting to interact with high school age students has been really fulfilling and awesome for me. Where did you go to college? I went to Georgia College and State University. Go Bobcats! Um, what makes you happiest these days? Spending time with my fiance and my family and our very cute little five-year-old black lab. And the last question is, who's your favorite person to call and why? My favorite person to call is my mom. She's my best friend, and I love calling her because she always just knows the right thing to say. Okay, thank you. Yeah, of course. Moms in general are underrated, for sure speaking as one we do everything for you you're welcome yeah they can like like build children and that's kind of cool oh moms definitely underrated moms are the best especially my mom but all moms they just know the right thing to say and when to say it my mom overrated uh, underrated because she does a lot for me uh, I don't give her as much credit as I should but she she's she's an MVP my mom is definitely pretty underrated I feel like people don't really like my mom, but I love my mom. My mom's a girl boss. Slay. Underrated. There's some good ones in there, like Alan Jackson, uh, Alan Jackson, uh, Steve Earle, Alan Jackson. Did I mention Alan Jackson? Alan Jackson's a really good artist. Underrated. I love me some, I love me some country music. I love me, so yeah, definitely underrated. Overrated. If your gender reveal is not just you telling your friends, oh, we're having a girl. 
I don't really want to set fire to the entire state of California. I'm just going to say underrated because I don't want to make myself feel bad for the fact that I had one. There was confetti and everything. It was great. Hey, Meemaw passed away a few hours ago. Sydney? Sydney. Hey, what's up? My name is Christian. I'm a wellness coach and I want to invite you every month to Wellness Wednesdays where we're going to gather together. We're going to talk about how to manage thoughts, emotions. We're just going to get together and talk, hang out, eat some pizza, and hopefully it's going to be beneficial to you and how you deal with all the things that's going on in your life. If you want more information about this, go see Miss Cohen in the counseling office and register to get your pizza and a little bit of healing. Alrighty, my name is Gabriel Santiago Martinez. I am a freshman in ninth grade, and I play the saxophone. I'm Sophia Kennis. I'm in 11th grade, and I play the clarinet. I'm Mahaley Brown. I play the flute, and I am a senior. Uh, my name is Zion McCarty. Um, I am center snare, and I am a senior this year. My name is Michael McClinton. I am in the 12th grade. I'm a senior, and I play the tuba slash sousaphone. <laughs> I like to hang out with my friends and I love the music. It's really fun marching. It's just very entertaining. I started pet band in ninth grade and then marching band in 10th. And I made a lot of friends and it's like a family now. I really enjoy like the group activity about it and like seeing other bands perform. I feel better when I'm like around people I do stuff with, so yeah. Um, I like the family. I like the connections. I being able to, you know, be around people that are like-minded, how have the same goal. It helps me build a relationship with people I don't know, especially the upperclassmen. Um, I think it's helped me with like just social skills in, over <laughs> in general. Um, it's helped me like with explaining what I want since I am like a section leader. I've met incredible people like all over that do the same thing as me. Focusing on the details, uh, we do a lot of detail work, trying to you know work those little things out, the things that matter from take us from being good to great. I always loved the music. I played other instruments and I would say like, I might as well join, I'll give this a new chair. I started in sixth grade and I was like between band and orchestra, but then I just decided on band and I started playing clarinet and ever since then I've like, I've been in love with it. Um, I got into band to just try it out and also to get like the PE credits out of it. <laughs> because, well, I thought it was awesome when I first joined it, so yeah. Um, it was a dream of mine to have to be part of music just in general. It was a dream of mine to play the tuba, funny enough, since I was four. So this kind of, this one thing led to another and now we're here. You should do it. <laughs> you should join. It's really fun. I think it would help. It's super fun. Um, I've, I've, this is my second year doing marching, marching band. And I made a lot of fun memories and, you know, it's, 
it's a commitment, but it's it's worth it in the end. Uh, to try it out because there's only like a year. You can try out what you can do. You can get better at your instrument and just make more friends. It makes high school easier. Uh, do it. Like it'll really change your life. Uh, just try it. Try it. You know, certain things aren't for everybody, but I'll say this happens to be a thing that tends to be for a lot of people. I love you, Mr. Everhart and Ms. Caratonis. You guys are great. So I would tell him that I really appreciate him and I thank him for, for everything, really. <laughs> thank you. Sports, CSPN. Welcome back to week five of CSPN. Last Friday, our Knights football team had a very competitive game against Etowa, sadly losing 28 to 21. Last Wednesday, girls volleyball swept Kings Ridge Christian, winning three sets to none. Last week, our softball team had a big win against GAC, winning 16 to four. Tonight, our Knights football team takes on Westminster away. Kickoff is at 7:30. Come out and show your support. And that's it for this week's Centennial. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next week. Go Knights! Thank you.